and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm your host, Frank Foster, and today we have a very interesting show. We're going to take a look at the military honors authorized every soldier who served in the 25th Tropic Lightning Division that deployed from Hawaii in 1966 and stayed in Vietnam until 1970. We're going to take a look at the division patch and its crest. And not only that, we'll take a look at all of the unit crests for the infantry, armor, and artillery battalions. And we'll show you step by step what every soldier who served there would be authorized. And we'll even build a display case to show you how it looks. And, well, you'll see a couple of other very interesting displays of soldiers who, well, above and beyond, or earned more than what everyone had earned. And, uh, well, special thanks to Medals of America and Fountain South Carolina for providing all the medals, badges, and insignia you're going to see. And if you enjoy these, please give us a like. Even better, subscribe. <laughs> It'll keep us on the air. So that's enough. Let's go take a look at the Soldiers' Honors from the 25th Tropic Lightning Division. The 25th Division arrived in Vietnam in March 1966 from Hawaii and it stayed until December 1970, almost five years' service in Vietnam. The shoulder sleeve insignia is a red taro leaf, and it represents the state of Hawaii, and the lightning flash represents the way in which the division performs its task. On the right is a distinctive unit insignia. It's centered on a black volcano, representing Hawaii, of course, and it's emitting a gold cloud with a vertical lightning flash with red above and gold below, with a pair of green palm branches on either side. The palm branches represent the division's nickname, Tropic Lightning. We will base our presentation on the military honors that every soldier that served in the 25th Division earned based on the uniform they wore home. Not on the uniform that they arrived in Vietnam with, nor the uniform they wore when they were fighting in Vietnam, but the uniform that they came home in. And let me explain to you in detail. The uniform of a returning home 25th Infantry Division soldier clearly showed his military honors. On his left sleeve was his current unit of assignment. And on his epaulet was his unit crest that further defined his unit. On his lapels were his branch insignia. And on his chest were the qualification and skill badges and the decorations and service ribbons that told his performance in Vietnam. Along with his rank badges that told his responsibility. So we'll use those symbols to lay out the military honor that each soldier returning from Vietnam would have received. Let's start with the infantry soldier and take a look at the unique crest of every infantry battalion in the 25th Infantry Division. Starting in the upper left is the 1st Battalion of the 5th Infantry Regiment, followed by the 4th Battalion of the 9th Infantry Regiment, the 2nd Battalion of the 12th Infantry, the 2nd Battalion of the 14th Infantry, the 3rd Battalion of the 22nd Infantry Regiment, the 4th Battalion of the 23rd Infantry, the 2nd Battalion of the 27th Infantry, and the 1st and 2nd Battalion of the 35th Infantry Regiment. If you'd like to know more details about the heraldic symbolism of these units, you can find it on the Institute of Heraldry's website. So let's build an example of a display case that every infantryman in the 25th Division would have earned. Start by placing his division patch in the top center and left and right, his branch insignia, his U.S., and his infantry insignia. The U.S. symbol in the upper left-hand corner goes all the way back 230-plus years to the U.S. buttons worn by the American infantry during the Revolution. Next would come the soldier's rank, in this case, Specialist 4th Class, and his insignia, his unit crest of the 3rd Battalion, 22nd Infantry Regiment. Just as a quick reminder, every American soldier in Vietnam would have received a National Defense Service Medal, the U.S. Vietnam Service Medal, the Vietnam Campaign Medal, and most would have received the Good Conduct Medal, and all received the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation. So for this combat infantryman, we add his combat infantry badge and the four medals and ribbons that I just mentioned. Classy Touch adds little brass plates describing each medal and the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry Unit Citation. The brass plate at the bottom allows for the name, unit, and dates of service. No infantry soldier would leave out his marksmanship awards, in this case, expert rifleman and sharpshooter with a pistol. 
the shadow box represents the basic awards that every infantry soldier serving in the 25th Infantry Division for over six months would have earned. Every soldier's experience in Vietnam was different and every display will be different. For example, this young infantry sergeant received the Bronze Star and the Air Medal, along with his Good Conduct Medal, and has used several commemorative medals to represent the unit awards he received for his service in Vietnam. This M60 machine gunner used ribbons, medals, and badges, along with his full-size Spec 4 insignia for a handsome display. The 25th Infantry Division had two armor battalions, the 2nd Battalion of the 34th Armor and the 1st Battalion of the 69th Armor. And here's a very nice display with a division patch and unit crest with ribbons over medals, and the recipient has received a Army Commendation Medal as well as the Vietnamese Civic Action Medal. And that brings us to the King of Battle. The 25th Infantry Division had five artillery battalions, the 1st Battalion of the 8th, the 2nd Battalion of the 9th Field Artillery, the 1st Battalion of the 11th Field Artillery, the 3rd Battalion of the 13th Field Artillery Regiment, and the 2nd Battalion of the 77th Field Artillery Regiment. This former artilleryman finally pulled out his old uniform and used it to put together a very handsome display for his grandson. The 25th Aviation Battalion had some really neat patches, and I love the name Diamond Head. Takes you right back to Hawaii, eh? Hey? The majority of the helicopters were flown by young warrant officers, and this young warrant officer has a handsome display that includes a distinguished flying cross. This A Company door gunner put together a nice display, especially uh, his liberal use of commemorative medals. We'll wrap up with this classic display of a young sergeant who saw service with both the 25th Infantry and USERV, and has received the Army Commendation Medal along with his basic awards. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today for our show on the 25th Tropic Lightning Division and the military honors that every soldier who served in the division between 1966 and 1970 would have earned. I'd like to point out to you that there are a lot of other Veterans Medals Workshop videos out there that would answer other questions you might have on the particular medals or badges of the United States Army. So until next time, thank you for joining us. Almost all the information you saw today came from our latest book, United States Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia, available for you at, well, Medals of America, Medals of America Press, or Amazon. Mm -hmm.